Hi guys, I'm Tony Alden and today we're going to have a look at the command iEdit mod that allows to do refactoring inside the buffer uh, in a few with a few keystrokes. So uh, here in this video the command is bind to control uh, F1 but you can choose uh, any binding that uh, you uh, prefer. So let's uh, look what it happened what, uh, when we call it on with the cursor at the word defun. So we call it, it highlight the two defun that we have in the buffer. You can see at the bottom that uh, you have, we have uh, an information that we have two matches. This is uh, interesting when we have a, a large buffer and you don't uh, see all the matches. So when that happened, now there are uh, some of the things that uh, we can do first the uh, the com the the key tab has been rebind as you can see uh, in the um, in the mod line so when i press tab when we press tab we go to the next occurrence now i we are at the last occurrence if we uh, press tab another time it will say this is the last occurrence and now if we uh, press another time, we go back to the first. So let's go to the second and there also the shift tab that is bind to iEdit prev occurrence. So you can move on the buffer as you want. So uh, the thing that uh, we can see here is that now let's say we want to change the um, the name foo one because we are we are defining it uh, in the first place and we use it in foo two and now that we have uh, called the command i edit mode and the things are highlighted everything that we do on any of the match highlighted will uh, be reflected in the other part so let's say we want to call it um, bar in upcase. So you see it's reflecting in the uh, in the other one. Let's say we go by pressing with tab to the other one and we change in the last one and you see it all it is also reflected at the top. So now we can go back to call it foo uh, this way. So this is one of the things that uh, that can be done. You can we can use it also just to move around. Let's say you have a, um, not defined, but maybe uh, let's let's play or uh, still with a full one. So we are here with a full one and uh, we want to do something uh, to, to go to the other match in the buffer and do other things. So if we go outside the highlighted part, we can press and do anything we want. If I press tab right now, I will go back to one of the match. Okay, so uh, so we, we can move, do stuff, and if we don't change the thing on the part highlighted, uh, this won't be uh, reflected in uh, anywhere. So here we've seen two of the things that uh, we can do. Another thing, when with uh, with called i edit mode on uh, that uh, path it uh, it um, it uh, highlight the thing at point so if we don't want to to have everything highlighted for instance we just want this path highlighted with i edit mode in all the buffer because we want to change uh, the namespace of the 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 package we are uh, writing so the package right now might be uh, called foo dash something and we press and you see now it's foo one foo two and foo one all the part here and we can change that for bar because we choose that now we want to call it bar so it's okay now we stop uh, using it so now we can uh, do things uh, uh, as we want and the last thing for today 
that uh, I wanted to share with you is that maybe when we are here and we use iEdit mode, we see that bar is uh, an argument of the bar one and an argument of bar two, and it's also called in uh, by bar one in bar two. So let's say we want to change the name of the variable of the argument here of the function, the, this function, but not, but not uh, this one, and still use iEdit mode. Okay, so we can do that. We press iEdit mode to, uh, to uh, stop iEdit mode, and now we call it with the argument zero. So we can either do control U zero or meta zero, which we uh, which call the control uh, u uh, the universal argument zero. So we do it, and now we call control if one for i edit mode, and this will highlight with i edit mode only with the function we are in, and this is done. So now if we want to call it, let's say uh, we want to call it buzz, so we just change the buzz in the bar for buzz in the function bar two. So the limit that is uh, that is done here is uh, is uh, performed in the code. If you read the source code of iEdit mode, it is performed with the function mark defend. And if we want to call it to see the limit we see that when we call meta zero uh, followed by iEdit mode, uh, this will be, uh, iEdit mode will be restricted to that region. So this is all I wanted to share with you today. I hope this uh, get you started with iEdit mode. There are many other things that uh, we can do with iEdit, iEdit mode. I encourage you to, to check it and uh, if uh, you're interested to read some of the part of uh, the source code that contain, uh, if I remember well, three, uh, three files of uh, around one file online, uh, something uh, like that. So I hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.